probably shouldn't take anything out because I don't work here anymore. <laughs> Amy Kellenberger might have graduated from DePaul last spring, but her vision is here to stay. And it's notable, I guess, I'm also the first student curator that they've ever had. Located in the Lincoln Park neighborhood, the DePaul Art Museum asked Amy to be in charge of selecting art pieces for the current Andy Archetype exhibit. Displayed on the second floor, it's among the first exhibits of the year, and it includes prints and photos by Andy Warhol, plus others that are similar to his style. We're kind of like, what if it's not just Warhol? What if we try to make it work with some other artists as well? And so then I kind of was just looking through the collection and started seeing a lot of things that popped out that were very Warhol-like. Warhol was known for using bold colors and turning ordinary objects into artwork. The setting is intimate, with just enough room for folks to make comparisons between Warhol's pieces and the ones that mimic his style. Warhol's social messages and techniques were unique to artists at the time. For example, for this painting, he used material like diamond dust for the background. Ishmael El Shabazz is a junior at DePaul. He says that Warhol's artwork is special to him. Andy Warhol provided art in a way that had never been really seen before and started a scene and culture really. Being able to see some of his art here in an urban environment as a student going to school in the urban environment, it kind of just gives a full circle to know that I can, I, I kind of can do kind of what he did because I've got that opportunity. Warhol's art was also used in advertising and was sought out by several companies and even celebrities. He took hundreds of Polaroid pictures for studies of his prints and paintings. Multiples of almost the exact same photo, just so he could, just changing the angle of the head just a little bit so that he could get the exact portrait that he wanted. The DePaul Art Museum rotates three exhibits like these throughout the year, and upcoming shows can be found on their website. For Good Day DePaul, I'm Brianna Blissett.